Hello friends, uh, today I am going to map uh, fire risk zonation. Uh, here I am going to show you this criteria with we are revolving around it uh, in this video. Here I have prepared five different criteria temperature, five, fire, uh, artist port data, uh, slope, aspect, land use, land cover. And by this category, we are determining fire risk zonation. I have reclassified all the data I have chosen as a criteria. I have reclassified them into three different categories. One, two, three. That means first one is uh, less susceptible, second one is moderately susceptible and third one is highly susceptible. And here temperature, aspect, slope and the land is land cover. Now we are heading towards weightage overlay tool. Now I have tick all these criteria and I am running it. Uh, First of all, I will tell you about this tool. What is overlay depends on the percentage influence of the factor that we are making it determining factor for the risk zonation. Here, uh, I have chosen five different criteria as I have already mentioned about it. Now we have to add all these five criteria here and determine the risk by percentage influence of this factor. It means uh, uh, temperature for this case, for this case temperature has high influence. Uh, when there is a high temperature, there is a high probability of high. Now I have started adding this criteria. Okay, add next temperature. Okay, expect slope land is land cover. For the easiness, I have criteria. Uh, I have. Uh, divided it into only three criteria. We can take as many factor uh, to determine the risk zonation. Here I want to focus you on the percentage influence. Our optimum level is 100% and we have to allocate all these determining factor into 100%. That means I have determined uh, these fire artist support reclassify data into 25%, uh, temperature into 30%, and uh, this twenty uh, percent and uh, slope fifteen uh, percent and land use land cover ten percent. Now I have uh, defined the evaluation scale. Uh, in what range you have to you have uh, evaluating it one four by one. It shows three criteria after the output. Now I am saving it to my location. What is overlay? Don't forget to write uh, extension. Okay. After this, we have to uh, fix this uh, scale value.
No. ¿Qué? And this shows that we have run it successfully. Now it shows that the this green zone is highly susceptible and this uh, light color is uh, moderately susceptible and the red zone is less susceptible. Here this zone, here these all these criteria uh, influence determines this all this zone. This is less susceptible to fire. This is moderately and this green one highly susceptible. We can do it in uh, another way too. We can analyze uh, generally, practically, uh, if we have to do this, we have to do through um, weightage overlay, if we have sufficient information about it, otherwise we generally use raster calculator for the practice. And these are the criteria, once again I am telling you that, uh, and we can take uh, criteria as many as Now we are performing raster calculator. Then raster calculator tool is uh, that tool where we can sum all of these output raster file and sum up it and it gives a new output. Here you can see I have put all these raster or sum up these raster and given the output name and run it and it is successful it's here it shows and output shows that it has different criteria and we can divide uh, it into uh, three criteria uh, for our easiness by reclassifying it I am giving 5, 6, 7 as one value and, and 9, 10, 11, 12 9, 10, 11 is 2 and the remaining is the 3 and and here I am changing it This is simple way as we are using raster calculator for hard oxygenation. Now I am assigning output location and don't forget to give extension. I am uh, telling it uh, as many times to reduce the error of my viewers uh, here we says if I I haven't write extension file it uh, shows the cross sign which means error and 
successfully reclassify now we can observe the result and we can compare it with what is overlay to we can see the zone uh, maximum zone um, uh, is moderately susceptible and this blue zone is this zone is least susceptible now this is reclassified in data after which we have converted it into three criteria now this is what is overlay output this is raster calculator output in this way i concluded this video uh, if you have any query about this you can ask me in the comment session thank you